So many references to the new birth, so many references to the traveling of the soul winner. But now we're going to see that this, this uh, command is given to us by God. That this is a ministry, this is a job that God has committed. The, the job of reconciling people to God. The, the job of, of burying that precious seed. The job of preaching the gospel has been committed unto believers in Jesus Christ. God has given us that job. You know why? Because God himself is not just speaking directly to people these days and trying to get them saved. It's not happening, and it's not going to happen. And this is why, I mean, you know, people say, well, what about that tribe in Africa and that long lost jungle or whatever? You know, God's not going to send them to hell, is he? Look, God is not coming down physically to appear to those people. You know what he's done? He's appointed people to go preach the gospel to them. Right, yeah. that's, the, that's, how, that's how God solves that problem. The onus is on us to go out and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ in order to get people saved. Amen. And it's, again, clearly taught in scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, look at verse number 1. The Bible reads, And I, brethren, cannot speak unto you as unto spirituals, but, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one saith, I am a Paul, and another, I am a Paulus, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is a Paulus? Look at this, verse 5. But ministers by whom ye believed... Even as the Lord gave to every man. Everybody that's saved, it was through a minister of the word of God by whom you believed. Because God wants everyone to be saved and God has ordained for ministers to go out and preach the word unto every creature. That's what Jesus said. That's what the Great Commission is all about. You know, go ye forth and therefore in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That job is committed unto us. Let's keep reading here in verse number five, though. I mean, if this isn't enough, you know, hopefully the rest of this passage is, or the next passage, or the next passage, or the next passage after that, to convince you that this is how God works. Okay, this is what, this is, this is how it works, how people get saved. This is how people are born again. Absolutely, it's through the word of God. You can't get anyone saved without the word of God. But it's not the word of God exclusively. The Holy Ghost needs to be involved. It's just like the people were saying, like, I, I hate hearing these false representations of what people believe. And they speak in generalities. And it's like, you know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. Like, just come out and say who you're talking about. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, stop misrepresenting, the, you know, the people who think, oh, so if, if Jesus, all he had to do was go to hell, then why did he even do that? You know, it's like, no one's saying that all he had to do to pay for our sins was go to hell. What we're saying it's a package deal, right? And this is a whole other doctrine I'm sure you've heard about. But it, it's, it's, it's not just the resurrection. It's not just the blood. It's not just any one thing. It's the whole package. It's the, you know, the virgin birth. It's God being manifest in the flesh. It's the perfect sinless life. It's also the healing. It's also preaching the gospel to the poor. It's also every other fulfillment of prophecy. It's all of it. It's the crucifixion. It's the shedding of blood. It's a dying. It's being dead for three days and three nights. It's the resurrection. And you know what else it is? It's the sprinkling of the blood on the mercy seat in heaven. Amen. That's when it was finished completely. The whole thing. His earthly ministry, earthly ministry finished when he died on the cross. But we, you have to believe it all. And the same thing with this. You can't just say, oh, well, you don't believe. Look. For someone to get saved, you need the perfect, incorruptible seed. Amen. You need the Savior. You need Jesus Christ. You need the Holy Spirit. You need a soul winner. Yep. Yeah. You need a minister. You need somebody to bring forth that word. 